Uh, my name is Vincent Bezakun, number 88 of the New York Red Bulls. I'm a midfielder and I'm an uh, alumni of class 2016 of St. Francis Brooklyn. Heads it across to Bezacourt behind the defense. Bezacourt blasts one and scores! Really nice effort. Another shot and this time a gorgeous stop. Kanab can't get to it this time. You kind of saw it coming. It's Vincent Bezacourt, the freshman with a goal. Bezcourt laid it off, got it back. Bezcourt inside the box, left foot in a foot goal! Oh, Bezcourt with a ripping left foot! Played in by Antti, and it's Bezcourt! That's a fifth! Vincent Bezcourt, three assists in the postseason, and he opens his scoring account in the second minute of stoppage time. So I was uh, playing soccer back in France in the fourth division, which is kind of semi-pro. And at the same time, I was uh, I was studying a lot. And then the year after that, I got an offer from San Francisco College, and I got in contact with Tom Coach uh, Giovato. And uh, when I saw that he was from Brooklyn, New York, I saw the Pier Five, the field, the, the facilities on the on the on the internet, and I was like, yeah, like it's a move that I have to do. It's it's a one uh, one opportunity that I can miss, and uh, that's why uh, that's why I moved here. Hi, my name is Vincent Bescou, I'm from Bordeaux, France, and I'm a business management major. Uh, the fun fact about me is that my teammates, they're calling me Frog, Froggy, because they think that I eat Frog, but that's not true. I was maybe like three or four months in, and I uh, had a championship already, and it was a great time. I remember just the, the hype in the locker room before the game. Like we were really pumped for this game, even though it was freezing, this game. And then one thing that shocked me too is the, the importance of the leaders. And like you said, uh, Cyril was a big part of this team. Andy was even a bigger part of, of this team. And, um, and winning on an OT goal like that, on a free kick again back to back, it was amazing. Amazing feeling. And Cormac will take it. And Cormac has the winner. Andy Cormac will send the Terriers back to the NCAA tournament. Just walking out from the school to the to the field every day was you have the sky on right there, it's amazing. And then game nights, it's, it's often at 7, 7 p.m. and so you play it sunset, it's beautiful, and then nobody can beat us on that field, so that's great. <laughs> and uh, and then the spring season was really fun too. I stayed the summer there, some of my friends came to visit, my family came to visit, so it was great. And then and I thought my second year my second year was the best one in terms of um, social life and uh, human experience, but unfortunately we didn't win the championship that year. I got an email from the scout of the Red Bulls. Uh, I think uh, Sinan Selmani, the assistant coach of St. Francis, knows Chris Summers, the new coach uh, of New York really well. And uh, I think he asked for a favor, like, uh, can you look at this guy? So the Red Bulls invited me to a combine, or a college combine, with some guys from like the, the biggest school in, in America, Stanford, Maryland, whatever, all, the, all these beautiful teams. And uh, I was a little bit impressed, but once I got on the field, I think I did well, because they, uh, after the, the trials, they invited me to preseason with the first team. And, uh, and I did well there, and they proposed me a USL contract. Minutes ago. Here's one-on-one -on -one move again, look out. Fleming again. Fleming lets it fly right across the front, another goal. Fleming able to get loose, and he is just setting goals up, and he's got Bezicourt this time, so another player into the game, and Fleming sets it up beautifully. For Bezicourt, that's his first goal of the season. Bezicourt's behind the back line for TFC2. Tanner puts a hand out, doesn't grab him, and Bezicourt puts it in. It was actually the, the last day of the transfer window, so I wasn't expecting anything. And then, uh, and then I got a call from my agent and Dennis, and they told me I was going to get a first-team contract, so it was great. And then the next morning, just like that, I was in the first-team locker room, and uh, the first-team coach introduced me to the team, said I deserved it, and, and then I was on the bench the next, the next day. And uh, yeah, it was a great feeling.
it's very different, especially playing with the NEC where it's very physical and direct. Uh, Red Bull football is, is very... We put a lot of emphasis on the tactics and uh, playing with the ball. It's more beautiful football, but it's... What, what is very different is the intensity of the game, I, th I think. Yeah. Coming from Europe, when you think about MLS, it's, uh, it's either New the New York Red Bulls or the Galaxy. And uh, with Titi, Thierry Henry play, who played there, uh, the, the New York Red Bulls for me was the, the best MLS team. So yeah, I couldn't hope for, for anything better. There's always someone that is watching you somewhere. Uh, even coming from San Francisco, a really small school. Uh, I think there's what, 3,000, 4,000 students. It's a small school, but it's great. Uh, all the teachers are, um, have treated me perfectly and uh, the location is great. Obviously, you in New York, Brooklyn. So I think you can have plenty of opportunities with great companies in the city. And then, yeah, I didn't expect to have the Red Bulls watching me, but, but yeah, it happened. So like, just walking out and believing. So yeah, if I, if I could do it again, I'd do it again for sure.